let us discuss this example okay which is asked in iit jam examination in to in the year of 2019 it is asked in section a so let us discuss this example in this example we have to find a value of double integration okay and they are given the four options here see but this problem is little bit complicated we cannot find its value directly what we have to do we have to change the order of integration and solve then we can easily get its value let us do the same i have already written here the problem okay so see here the integration with respect to x first so that's why these are limits of x and these are limits of y so what will i do i will try to find a region first i will change the order of integration that means i will rotate a strip and then we, by solving we will have answer so here region is bounded by we can clearly mention region is bounded by see first is y is equal to 0 which is equation of x axis so i i can show here y is equal to 0 equation of x axis next y is equal to 1 y is equal to 1 this is a line parallel to x axis which passes through y is equal to 1 y is equal to one. Okay. After that, what we have x is equal to zero. X is equal to zero. This is equation of what? This is y axis. X is equal to zero. And the last one that is uh, what is it? X is equal to one minus y square. Or we can write y square is equal to one minus x. Okay. Just simply uh, interchange x and y square here. So y square is equal to one minus x. So this is equation of parabola. Keep in your mind. A power of x is one power of y is two. Okay, by judging the power powers of variables, we decide it is a parabola or ellipse or circle. See, if power of one variable is one power of second variable is two, it's hundred percent parabola. So this is parabola we have, and power of x is one. So that's why it is symmetric about x axis. But see, x has a minus sign, so it is uh, open see in a negative x axis direction. That means parabola will be. Like this, since x has a minus sign, okay, it opens in negative x axis direction. See, but we are confused. It passes through which point exactly? So for that, what will I do? I am going to put a y is equal to zero. If I put y is equal to zero by solving, we will have x is equal to one. So that means this parabola passes through this point one comma zero. Getting the parabola passes to this point. Now it is fixed and it opens in negative x axis direction. So it will be like this. So I will mention here parabola. parabola symmetric about negative x axis see but still i am confused it cuts y axis at which points getting so if i draw parabola like this it will cuts y axis at two distinct points so let us find so for to find those points i will put x is equal to 0 If I put x is equal to zero here, we will have y square is equal to one. That means y is equal to plus minus one. So it cuts y axis at point one as well as minus one. So that's why this parabola will be like this. Okay. So I will write here y square is equal to one minus x. So now the region is clear. Region bounded by this line y axis, x axis, parabola, and y is equal to one. So this is a region of integration. Okay. So see. In a given problem, inner integration is with respect to x. That means given strip is parallel to x-axis. So to change the order of integration, I will consider a strip parallel to y-axis. You can make a screenshot of it. Then we will go further. See, that's why I consider a strip parallel to y-axis since we have changed the order of integration. So I have written all these things here clearly. See, if I consider a strip parallel to y-axis, obviously first we write y varies from, and then we write x varies from. Our funda is can we consider a strip bounded below, bounded above, left to right. What is our funda? Bounded below, bounded above, left to right. The so strip is bounded below by y is equal to zero. So yes, y is equal to zero. After that, bounded below. After that, bounded above. The strip is bounded above by a part of parabola whose equation is y square is equal to one minus x. But I have already written y is equal to. So y is equal to obviously root one minus x. So maybe you are thinking we will we can have positive root, negative root. But we have consider a positive part of y axis. So region lies in positive part of y axis. So that's why we consider a positive root here. 
so after that now we have considered bounded below bounded above now we will move a strip from left to right in left it can move up to this line where the value of x is 0 and in right okay in right we will move strip like this the point is 1 comma 0 the strip will move up to that point it cannot go beyond it so at that point the value of x is 1 so value of limit will be 1 so see here now our strip is parallel to y axis so that's why our inner integration is with respect to y having limit 0 to root 1 minus x and outer integration is with respect to x having limit 0 to 1. So now the given, in a given problem we had a uh, integration inner integration with respect to x outer with respect to y simply we have changed here. When we okay so here integration with respect to y first then x. So when we integrate with respect to y, the complete term is constant since there is no any y, only one y is there. So I'm taking it outside the inner integration. So 0 to 1, it is constant for inner integration pi 1 minus x square getting. So in inner integration, we have a y simply whose uh, integration is y square by 2 with limit 0 to root 1 minus x dx, right? So this 1 by 2 is constant will come outside. So 1 by 2, 0 to 1 sine pi 1 minus x square, right? I am putting upper limit first. So if I put upper limit, square and square root will get cancelled to each other and we will have 1 minus x. But if you put lower limit 0, we will have 0, right? So that's why I will write dx now. So simply we have to solve this integration, okay? You can make a screenshot of it, then we will go further. Okay, so previous step I had kept here. Okay, so let us continue. See, we cannot solve this integration directly. Again, there is a need of substitution since the angle of sine is little bit complicated here. So what will I do? I'm going to put, I'm going to put whatever the angle we have, pi 1 minus x square is equal to theta. Okay, so we can easily solve this problem. But when we put anything, we have to do two tasks. First, we have to take derivative and second, we have to change the limits of integration. Let us do first task. I'm going to differentiate it. Pi is constant, its derivative is 2 pi 1 minus x. And again, derivative of that bracket, which is minus 1. So minus dx, derivative of theta is 1. So we have a d theta here. Get it? So out of this term, 1 minus x dx is already present here. So we can write 1 minus x dx is equal to minus d theta by 2 pi right so this value we can easily put first task is over now we have to focus on the second task that means we have to change the limits let us find new limits for x is equal to 0 given limit and the upper limit is for x is equal to 1 let us find the value limits here of theta if i put x is equal to 0 here we will have theta is equal to pi and if i put x is equal to 1 here we will have theta is equal to 0 let me remove this step it is uh, okay let us continue first then we will remove this step i is equal to so let us write the given integral i with new limits okay what we have 1 by 2 we had outside the integration new limits pi to 0 right sin we have call it as theta correct 1 minus x dx which is nothing but minus d theta upon 2 pi so now this step is not required let me remove it see uh, 2 pi is constant we can take it outside so we will have 4 pi outside getting minus you know that there is a property of definite integral if you wish to remove minus sign we simply need to interchange limits so that's why we will have 0 to pi correct sine theta d theta do you know the integration of sine theta it is minus cos theta so minus sign I'm taking outside 1 upon 4 pi. Simply I'm writing cos theta 0 to pi. Since integration of sine is minus cos theta. We have inner space here. So let us use it. So this is equal to minus 1 upon 4 pi. If I put pi value of cos pi is minus 1 minus. If I put 0 cos 0 is equal to 1. So here we will have minus 2 minus minus plus 2. 2 will get cancelled and we will have 1 upon 2 pi. So this is required value of integration. So i is equal to 1 upon 2 pi. Okay, you can make a screenshot of it. Then we'll stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.